It's early in the morning, but Anna Nurjana is already hard at work. The 33-year-old is making pisang chocolate, an Indonesian snack of banana chocolate spring rolls. Ini dijual satu seribu. Kalau di frozen kan di pack ya. Isi sepuluh dia akan di. Saya masak sudah lama sih, sudah dari seumurannya Aska tujuh tahun. Jualan. Anna runs a small shop out of a home in a southwestern suburb of Jakarta. Udah biarin nih. Udah nggak usah dini. Tuh duitnya ya. She sells fresh vegetables, sundry items, and assorted snacks. This is on top of a full-time job as a finance assistant in the Indonesian capital. Nanti pagi jam empat pulang kerja belanja kita siapin, terus pagi eksekusi masak masak beres beres jam enam tinggal dikit jam delapan ram. But despite juggling two jobs, she says balancing budgets is tough. Anna is a member of Indonesia's sandwich generation. That's a term used for people who have to support both their elderly parents as well as their own children. It's estimated that two out of three working adults in Indonesia belong to the sandwich generation. That's around 56 million people. The majority of them are under the age of 40. Karena di budaya keluarga saya, kita harus saling membantu untuk uh, sesama saudara dan harus saling membantu lah intinya. Di keluarga saya, salah satu uh, yang berpendidikan tinggi, kemudian saya kerja di Jakarta dan beranggapan untuk di keluarga saya, saya adalah yang memiliki banyak uang dan harus menanggung uh, seperti ponakan saya untuk kuliah, kemudian adik saya dan orang tua saya. In a recent Money Mind survey, over four in ten young Indonesian adults said that having to provide monetary support to family members is a key financial challenge. Kalau sisi baiknya sih memang saling tolong menolong ya antar keluarga, tapi sisi buruknya untuk pemasukan keuangan tuh ada ada pasang surut ya gitu. Jadi enggak semua setiap bulan itu kita dengan pemasukan yang sama dan kebutuhan yang sama. Menurut aku saya memang harus di stop untuk uh, generasi sandwich ini. Itu sangat membebani gitu. Saya nggak mau nanti anak saya juga uh, terbebani oleh saya ataupun keluarga dari yang keluarga kakak saya yang harus dibantu. The financial pressures on the sandwich generation aren't just felt by individuals. It's a big problem for the whole of society as well. There will be like uh, multiplier effect that will going to be happen not only for today's but also for the, uh, the future so the sandwich generation can be trapped into the intergenerational poverty why because they don't have sufficient funds to support themselves to increase their potential or to protect their future like uh, you know participating in the social insurance so the poverty will you know growing and then passing to the uh, future generation Aside from the financial burden, there is a mental health price to pay as well. It is very common where the young generation or sandwich generation having this mental health problem, even though they're not revealing it to anyone. So mental health is something that denied by the community. They don't want to talk about it. And the problem is they don't get any support for, you know, for healing their mental health problems. There is no way, uh, like, you can come to the hospital and saying, I'm having mental health issue, please help me. It is very difficult. You need to be very educated or very rich to get that kind of help. Prakasa is a Jakarta think tank that wants to make Indonesia a better society to live in. For many of its own staff, the challenges facing the sandwich generation are not just a research topic, but an everyday reality. Twenty-eight-year-old Dharmawan has been supporting his family since he started working. In total, forty percent of his income goes to supporting his family. His parents live in a village in East Java. They run a poultry store, but the income isn't enough to cover all their expenses. Dharmawan is also supporting his 19-year-old sister's further education. Without his contribution, 
she would have to drop out of school. Pursuing higher education will break the cycle of poverty itself. Not only me, actually. So now I'm planning that my little sister could gain higher education as well. So someday if our parents already, let's say, in their senior uh, age, we can prepare and we can manage uh, finance. So all the financial costs not only fall to me, but also I can share with my little sister. These members of the sandwich generation are looking for ways to break the cycle of dependence. But cultural reasons could mean that this won't be so easy to do. The sandwich generation, if they are asked what preferences they, they want to have, maybe they will say, I want to have a better living and then I don't want to be burdened by my parents or my family. I, I, I wish that my parents can live in the nursing home so I can work and then I can also support my parents still, yeah. But then uh, that option is not available culturally. According to a recent survey, the majority of Indonesian households with at least one elderly person rely on money from working relatives. The survey also found that only 6% of the elderly had pension funds that could cover their needs. This is an outcome that today's sandwich generation are working hard to avoid. Pertama kita harus mempunyai perencanaan keuangan uh, untuk sebagai bekal masa tua ya atau bisa juga udah mulai dari sekarang bisa melakukan apa, ikut asuransi masih asuransi kesehatan atau asuransi untuk dana pensiun di masa tua sehingga tidak merepotkan yang generasi muda. Bahkan walaupun saya tergolong middle class, tapi kalau misalnya pengeluaran kita tidak direncanakan atau tidak hati-hati bisa jatuh ke dalam kemiskinan. <tuh>